What's up guys? Quick update. Um, no, I hadn't gotten anything up in a while. Didn't mean to be disappeared on you, but <clears throat> literally right after I, the last video I did, um, my grandmother passed away. So past few weeks, uh, been busy helping my, my mom out with taking care of all of that and uh, everything related there. So that's just taking up a whole bunch of my time. Uh, <clears throat> and then with work, trying to get as much stuff made and, and shipped out as, as I can before, before Thanksgiving and then now continuing you know, between now and Christmas. Uh, just hasn't been a whole lot of free time for, for much anything, unfortunately. So, I am still here though. Um, did get some messages and, and, and comments from a few folks uh, regarding my grandmother, which I appreciate. Um, got a couple little informational, not really review per se, but I guess you could call it a review uh, videos that I'm fixing to do. Um, get you a couple things up, <clears throat> a couple things of interest to take a look at. Um, what else? Not sure how much stuff I'm going to get done between now and Christmas. Um, <clears throat> man, a lot of stuff going on. I mean, there's only a couple of weekends before Christmas. I mean, wrap your head around that. And just about every weekend I've got something going on uh, already committed to, so. Well, now Christmas is going to be pretty pretty tight. Um, I might take a few days off won't work around Christmas just to kind of get a break from this year um, <clears throat> for New Year's. But come January, we have a lot of stuff planned for next year now. Barring any unforeseen acts of God, plan on getting to it. Um, got some stuff that me and some friends want to do. Um, so yeah, a lot, lot of good stuff hopefully getting out and not being stuck in here all the time doing stuff so uh, <clears throat> that's that's on tap for January um, what else um, blah, 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 blah. Well, I, I have noticed I'll throw this out there just while we're chatting a um, bunch of new subscribers holy cow Seems like every day new ones, which thanks guys, I, I appreciate it. Um, it's funny, some of the guys that I've gotten to be friends with uh, via YouTube and other, other outlets, I've seen them do videos thanking people for subscribing to their channels. And one of the common things that some of the guys that I've become friends with, they always say, they're always like, wow, why in the world do people want to subscribe to my channel? It blows me away. And I never really understood it because, <clears throat> I don't know, it just didn't click with me. But now I, I'm, I'm kind of finding myself in the same boat. Now, I don't have nearly as many subscribers as, as a couple of my friends do, but I'm kind of starting to feel the same thing that it's like, wow. I would have never really expected or guessed there had been that many people interested in just hearing what I got to say. So I, I'm, I'm humbled and, and, and appreciate it. Um, try not to dis disappoint you. I hope there's not any lofty expectations that I can't reach because, like I told you before, what you see is what you get here. There, there's no uh, big claim to fame. Um, I'm an expert amateur. There you go, we're going to coin that phrase. Um, and I've got guys subscribing from, from all over the place. Uh, not only here in the States, but um, other countries as well. Uh, a lot of you guys in the UK, um, UK, Ireland, Scotland, that whole area, really appreciate you guys. Uh, mutually, there's a lot of guys in the UK that I'm, I'm fans of and follow. Um, and, and it always makes me wonder when I see you guys subscribing because I know there's things that not only in the UK but in, in, in Europe too that 
you're going to have to do differently than what, say, many of us here uh, in the U.S. would do. Partly due just to availability of different things, but different laws, um, different culture, um, different terrain, landscape, you know, just all kind of different things that make it so different, but yet the, 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 the common goal is still the same for all of us, I think. Um, you know, being, being ready for, for bad times that may come that we hope never come, and being ready to take care of your family and friends and, and neighbors or however, whoever you, you know, feel the need to. Um, you know, and I, I think my UK buddies as well as my US friends would agree this is about anything from the power going out overnight to absolute Mad Max chaos and everything in between. So I think there's a lot of things that, that cross over, even though you know different areas of the, of the world we may end up having to do things slightly different, take a different approach maybe on things. Um, the goal is still the same. So. I appreciate you guys over there subscribing, and I hope that you can get something out of you know, all my ramblings as, as well as you know, folks here stateside. So um, I think I'm probably going to start occasionally throwing up some other other channels that, that I really like. Um, they've got good stuff. Some are really, really big. Some are pretty small like me. Um, but but there's, there's some good stuff. Um, One of my friends that I've, guys that I've gotten to be good friends with here in the States, uh, K Jumper One, um, go check out uh, his channel. Uh, Ken's got some good stuff up there. Um, got to keep bugging him to get out and do some more, but uh, maybe, uh, who knows, maybe next year uh, Ken and I be able to jointly do something together. Wouldn't know anything about that. Um, Let's see. I know most of you guys have seen a lot of the bigger you know, gun-related channels in the U.S. You know, there, there's some good stuff on there. Um, not a whole lot of dedicated preparedness channels, though, oddly enough. At least not any that, that, uh, that have really caught my interest as of yet. Not, not to say that they won't, but um, as far as over in the U.K., um, geez, it seems like you guys have got no shortage over there. Um, probably two of my favorites uh, that while I haven't met them in person, I've uh, had conversations with both uh, Sergeant Fruitcake, check out his channel, um, and of course everybody knows uh, Funky Prepper. Funky's just got just gobs of great stuff on his channel. You can spend hours just watching, going back through all his videos. Um, a couple other good guys over there. Um, uh, Pete, uh, Mine Wiseman. Um, who else? Um, oh, Armor Cockroach. And a note, real quick, because I know I mentioned a bunch of UK channels. Guys here in the U.S. and gals. When I say guys, I mean guys and gals. I'm just generally speaking. Don't discount the, the, the stuff that the folks over in the U.K. and elsewhere are doing. The, the only real difference from them and us, like I mentioned earlier, is probably going to be more on the security and tactical side. Over here, we're probably going to be using more firearms for protection and defense than, than what they are just to the difference in laws and accessibility and all that, but a lot of the field craft techniques are, are going to be the same. So there's a lot that can be can be picked up and carried over um, to our side and, and, and vice versa. So don't forget that. Um, I know there's some more U.S. channels and I've got them bookmarked and I just don't have my computer sitting in front of me. If I find them while I'm uploading this, I'll put them in the description down here. Um, anyway, didn't want to turn this into a 15-minute ramble. Just want to let you know I'm still here um, trying to get some stuff done. 
got a lot I want to do, just a matter of finding the time and the opportunity to do it. Uh, so, with that all said, thanks again for everybody's support. I'm going to get to a couple of videos right now, so look for them to come up after this one. Like I said, another two big, just a couple of items that I've had that I've been playing with. I want to follow up on a couple and show you a couple of new ones and then uh, hopefully start getting back outside more uh, in the coming coming weeks and months. So anyway, take care guys. Um, you know what? Hold that thought. Check that. Let me back up before I sign out with you. This may end up being a short ramble even though I said I didn't want it to be. I'm sure in the past few weeks you guys have all been paying attention. Um, the world increasingly is moving towards stupidity, aka chaos. We've had the attacks in Paris. Um, things continue to happen in the Middle East. You've got terrorist groups that are making no short bones about what they want to do. And, and that blows my mind when we have leaders and politicians around the world, not just in America, but around the world, that sit there and scratch their heads and say things contradictory to what the bad guys themselves are saying. Just listen to what the bad guys are saying. They're telling you what they want to do. They're telling you what they want to accomplish. They're telling you who they are. They're not trying to hide it. But then we get world leaders that want to act like they have no clue what the problem is. I'm not a detective, but somewhere in there, there, there is a clue. There, there's things happening amongst different countries right now. Um, just peruse through the news and you can see a lot of it. I, I think it's safe to say that the world is steadily inching towards that unknown territory. And what I'm driving at here is if you're just now getting into this, don't waste any more time. I, I don't think time is in our favor right now, unfortunately. And I say unfortunately because honestly, I don't feel like I'm anywhere near as prepared as I want to be. I'm just not. I honestly don't know if I ever will be. Short of like winning a couple of million dollars in the lottery, I may never really get to where I want to be because wherever I want to be by the time I get there, there will be another benchmark that I want to reach. So may never reach that goal, but there are some areas where I definitely know I want to be better off than I am now before, God forbid, anything just completely goes south. So if you've been on the fence, get off of it. Start getting you some food and water together. Start with small goals. Get, say, three days worth of food stored in your house for everybody in your house. Once you reach that, bump it up to a week's worth for everybody in the house. And go from there. Same thing with your, <clears throat> um, with everything else. Be it, you know, make sure you're, you've got a full spectrum of what you're doing. Make sure you've got hand tools and stuff like that you know, stored away. Simple things. Hand saw, hammer, screwdrivers, um, pliers, you know, things to do repairs with. Tape, nails, screws, wire, whatever. Things like that. <clears throat> Defensively. Um, <clears throat> make sure you've got clothing for various weather conditions. Um, make sure you've got clothing for long-term use, especially in a you know, defensive nature. Defensive tools, your firearms. 
if, if all you can start with is a handgun and a couple of magazines for it, start there. Get your handgun, a couple of mags, good holster, and get your 500 rounds of ammo for it. Then move up as you can. Get you a rifle, get you a couple of magazines for that, get you a piece of gear to support it because you'll need something to carry the mags and all that. Get you 500 rounds of ammo for that. And then just complete one little block and then build on each of those blocks as you go. Add more magazines, add more ammo, um, add more gear, add more food, add more water, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Medical stuff, same thing. So start now. This is, this is me being real serious with you. There's... I have no crystal ball. I don't know what's going to happen. Don't even know if anything's going to happen. But we don't do this because we know what's going to happen. We do it because we don't know what's going to happen. Start now and get ready, guys. This, everything that's out there is pointing towards this whole situation ain't going to end well. By situation, I mean the whole amalgamation of everything that's going on in the world. Okay, there, we could do a five hour video of just me rambling and not cover everything that's going on right now. That's how much is going on. Just get started. Start with your basics and move up from there. The final thing, start looking for like-minded friends, family, etc. But be very discerning about it, okay? Just because somebody may be somewhat interested in being prepared doesn't mean that everything that they're thinking and believing is going to jive with everything you're thinking and believing and how you want to do things and uh, et cetera, et cetera. So get out there, start meeting people, start trying to find people, but then be real selective of, of who you bring into that inner circle, okay? So enough rambling. I'm still here. going to get some videos done. Um, Take care, and I will talk to you again real shortly. Thanks, guys. This is good stuff. Almost as good as coffee.